Cyber Matt Reviews. Hey everyone, Cyber Matt here, and today I'm reviewing Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines. So, Terminator 3 is set 10 years after Terminator 2 Judgment Day. They have stopped Judgment Day, and uh, John Connor is now living off the grid. So, if any other Terminators get sent back in time you know, to kill him, he'll be very hard to find. And, uh, of course, uh, another Terminator gets sent back in time to kill him. And uh, a number of uh, high-profile resistance uh, soldiers. So, and uh, this Terminator is played by Kristana Loken. Uh, of course, it's a female Terminator now, so that's new. And, of course, Arnold gets sent back in time to protect John Connor from this more advanced Terminator known as the Terminatrix. So uh, John Connor actually gets uh, thrown together with this woman by the name of Kate Brewster, who they have a connection that uh, he doesn't know about yet. And uh, so, yeah, they have to survive and try to stop Judgment Day all over again. So what... What can I say about Terminator 3? Uh, well, let's get the bad out of the way first. Okay, one of the things I do like, it, there are callbacks to the first two films. The problem is they, they do these callbacks and then they have like a little twist to them, uh, like a comedic twist. And some of them are okay, but... Some of them just don't fit the tone of the movie. It's supposed to be a, a serious movie, and it really feels like this is kind of... The, they're there just because they wanted to put comedic moments in the script. I mean, there's one point in the script where, you know, uh, Arnold throws the Terminatrix down an elevator shaft and looks up at John Connor and is like, She'll be back. And, you know, you can just see the writers going like, you see what we did there? You see what we did? Oh, we're so clever. You see what we did? And it's just, it's, it's too much. I mean, the tone of these movies is supposed to be serious and kind of dark. You can't have comedy, but I, I just feel like the comedy should be more organic to the characters. Uh, I feel like the comedy, the little comedy bits in Terminator 2 were, were like that. They were just better done. Uh, it's just, yeah, it, it feels forced. If you're wondering if you should pick up the Blu-ray, I would say yes. Uh, this has some very nice special features. Now, before I get into that, I do need to address um, a glitch in earlier uh, releases of this film. Pretty much what, what happened, this is supposed to be in 1080p, but through some sort of glitch on, on the Blu-ray... Uh, it only plays in 1080i, and there is an in-movie experience, kind of a picture-in-picture -picture commentary, and in that, um, the movie actually plays in 1080p. So it's just a, a weird glitch, but um, as far as I know, for the newer releases, it's been corrected. So just be aware of that. Um, but yeah, as far as the special features, this has quite a bit. Uh, this has an in-movie experience. Uh, with director Jonathan uh, Mostow and his creative team. Uh, they do a behind-the-cameras tour of the state-of-the-art sci-fi action movie making all while watching the film itself. Ooh. Um, you also get three commentary tracks uh, with the stars and, and director. So that's, that's pretty nice. Introduction by Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, HBO First Look documentary. You, you get the Sergeant Candy scene. And this is another one of the issues that I have with the movie. Um, this is a deleted scene that, again, was done for comedy. And uh, I, I just don't think it, it, works, it works all that well. Um, pretty much it's an explanation as to why the Terminator sounds like Arnold. Uh, they, they show... Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger playing an, an American uh, soldier, and he has, like, his voice is dubbed over uh, with this um, 
like Americans southern accent and um and yeah and, and they show that that he is the model that they're using for future you know machines that that look like you know men and uh <laughs> the uh corporate higher ups are like oh i don't i don't like that voice and uh one of the the army guys beside besides him has arnold's voice and he's like we can work on that something it, it's stupid. Uh, I I just I just really don't like that. I don't know why they they had to go for for all this comedy. Um, it just didn't work. There's also a gag reel which which is kind of funny. Um, they go through uh, like storyboard gallery. Uh, of course, they have a theatrical trailer. There is a little featurette on uh, making of uh, action figures for the film. I, I think it's a uh, Todd McFarland does the, the action figures as well as the making of the video game uh this is for war of the machines uh i think this was like an online multiplayer game where you could play as either the resistance or their machines so uh interesting that that's on there you can take a look at an old game that probably doesn't work anymore <laughs> but uh but yeah it's it's a pretty nice blu-ray with some, with some nice special features uh, you can get this pretty cheap for under like ten dollars now, so I would definitely recommend it uh, if you're a Terminator fan. Uh, just be aware you're probably gonna have some issues with it, but it is a fun action movie uh, as it is, so I would definitely recommend it. All right, guys, well that is my review of Terminator Three: Rise of the Machines. As always, uh, like the video, comment below, share it, and subscribe. Till next time.